All right, so we are back in Cobblestone. Uh, apparently, you didn't save us getting that accolade the last time, but we have it now. All right. Uh, oh, hello. Welcome back, he says. So, the ceremony's all done. Congratulations. Now, don't tell me. You've forgotten... Oh, now don't tell me you've forgotten where you live and all the excitement. Just follow the paving stones. You'll soon find your way back. Oh, but you must be tired to be forgetting that. You should head home and put your feet up. Yeah, I guess so. Alright, cobblestone. Let's go talk to Mama. If I hold R2, I can just run and it's like driving. I don't have to hold up on the left stick. That's pretty nice. <laughs> hey, Sandy. Oh, woof, woof. Oh, this must be. Yeah, look at the path. It leads right up there. We're all right. We got the rocky road. Let's go talk to Mama. Oh, here's my little soldier. Well, not so little anymore. I've heard all about your big adventure. Look at you, all grown up. I hope he wasn't too much of a bother, Gemma dear. <laughs> of course not. Quite the opposite, in fact. You would have been proud of him. We got attacked by a monster at the top of the tour, and I ended up hanging onto the edge of the cliff by my fingertips. I thought I was done for. But you'll never guess what happened next. That mark on his hand suddenly lit up, and a bolt of lightning hit the monster! What did you say? That funny little mark? Lightning flying about the place? Goodness me! Here I was hoping he'd turn out nice and ordinary, but it seems his grandfather was right all along. Well, I've been putting this off for long enough now. You and me need to have a little talk. Oh, do we? Here. This belongs to you. Your grandfather asked me to give you it once you'd come of age and climbed the tour. The truth is, there's something I've been keeping a secret all these years. Something I've never told another soul in the village. It's... how can I put this now? Um... well... he said you're... You're the reincarnation of the Luminary! Dun-dun-dun. What? Oh, don't ask me what the old fool meant, dear. I haven't got the foggiest. All I know is that your grandfather said you had a special destiny and that there was something you had to do. He said that when you came of age, you were to head north to the capital, up there in Heliodor, and show that necklace thingy to the king. He seemed to think that if you did that, all would become clear. Clear as mud, I shouldn't wonder. Anyway, the long and short of it is that if you want to find out what this is all about, you'll have to leave Cobblestone and head over to Heliodor. Crikey. <laughs> well, I can't stop you leaving, I'm sure, but you won't be marching on an empty stomach. Come on, dinner. <laughs> <laughs> The Reincarnation of the Luminary. Coffee tries his hardest to sleep, but he's too confused by everything he's learned and excited about his coming trip. Eventually, dot dot dot. Oh, I was expecting <laughs> something else to happen. Let's go take a look at that item. There it is, the precious pendant. A precious necklace handed to our hero by his mum the night before he set out on his ad adventure. 
gazing into its muted glimmer calms and relaxes him. That's cool. Cool. Um, all right, let's go for a walk. Where to go? Hmm. Well, I mean, we're gonna be going. I'm not a hundred percent sure. Oh, look, there's Gemma. Hold on. Let's go talk to Gemma first. I was like, where do I go? <laughs> I wasn't expecting it to be nighttime. I thought we were just going to explore. Oh, can't sleep either, eh? No. You remember this tree, don't you? I got my scarf stuck in it all those years ago. There I was, crying like mad, and there you were, running round trying to help me get it down. <laughs> Some things never change, eh? You know, I always imagined we'd spend our whole lives right here in Cobblestone. That's why I was so surprised by what your mum said today. All that stuff about you being the luminary, that reincarnation thing. I remember this story my granddad told me. Once upon a time, long, long ago, the world was terrorized by a horrible monster. But then, the luminary appeared and saved the day. When it was all over, the luminary turned into a star. And he's been watching over us from up in the heavens ever since. That's his star, right there. How can you be the luminary too? I... I just don't get it. I know. That's what you're going to Heliodor to find out. I understand. Really, I do. Listen, we should both be getting back. Everyone will be wondering where we've got to. Goodbye, old friend. Oh, I was crying. Was not expecting that. After exhausted after his long day, Coffee finally falls into a restless slumber. Then morning comes. I'm awake. <laughs> Check me out, Ma. Well, just look at you. You don't scrub up too bad, you know. Only wish your grandfather were here to see you. You won't forget him, will you? He was a fine, upstanding man, the pride of the village. You could do worse than try to be like him. Well, however you turn out, I'm sure you'll find a way to overcome whatever lies ahead. A mother knows these things. Oh, by the way, I've popped a little money I'd saved for a rainy day in your pack. Don't yeah. spend it all at once. Why don't you visit the village shop before you head off to Heliodor? You'll need some supplies for your big adventure. But don't take too long. The whole village is turning out to wave you off. All right. I think it's cool that they uh, left her name not as Mum, but as uh, Amber. That's kind of fun. I was wondering if we were wearing something different because of the way she reacted to us. No, I guess we're in our normal out outfit. Oh, I see. So the purple... Purple icon means it's, uh, if you put them together. Okay, means that it's an outfit and you'll look different. Alright, that's cool. Let's go check out this ladder. Something tells me there's gonna be something up here. 
that's how these games work, is you find most of your supplies for free if you were to explore a little bit. And just like that, boom, 10 coins. Can we jump? Yes, we can. What else can we look at? Probably this cupboard. Boom. Another set of playing clothes. It's not this, it has to be the same. It's only just says plain clothes. I'm like, wait a second, but we have plain clothes because that's the clothes I took off to wear this outfit. I'm with you now. There's a sparkly spot up there. This looks suspiciously like something I should be able to climb, but I can't. <laughs> What's going on? Climb! Oh, how do I do that? Oh, circle! I was expecting myself to be able to uh, jump. Uh, like I did with those ledges in the tour. For some reason it never connected that I could use circle. Look at that. Uh, here we go. Nice. That says 50 gold on it, baby. What else can we get into? Oh, anything over here? No. Oh, barrels, ominously, there it is, 10 gold. All right, let's check out some of the next areas. <clears throat> Here's the house, we'll probably need to check that out too. What's, what do you have to say, buddy? I heard all about it from your mother. She said there's an important journey you have to make and, you, and you're just and you just a youngster. <laughs> well, before you head off, make sure you visit the shop. You know where it is, of course, down the slope and across the river. Once you stocked up, head to the village entrance to the north. We'll all be waiting to see you off. Okay, so yeah, definitely wants us to. Uh, sorry, coffee. The old fellows here are busy eating their beloved grass. I don't think they'll be moving anytime soon. So it definitely wants us to explore. <clears throat> all right, let's see. Oh, I remember this. This is a staple in Dragon Quest games. If you see a bookshelf with a red book on it, uh, you want to interact with it. There is a book called Tour the Horse, Equestrianism for Young and Old. Copy takes it from the shelf and has a closer look. For the longest time, I simply could not understand what all the fuss was about horses. To me, they always seem such skittish and dangerous animals. But all that changed when I was finally convinced to ride one. Such grace, such speed. I was speechless. What a fool I'd been for all these years, refusing to even entertain the idea of riding one. And the way my faithful steed rushes to my aid in the moment, I ring to the bell. Uh, no matter where I am in Eritrea, it moves me near enough to tears every time. Such loyalty, such nobility. Long live the horse. I dare not imagine a life without one. Now those heavenly hoofbeats have clip-clopped their way into my heart. <laughs> Alright, I'm not, not going to read much more of those. <laughs> Uh, going forward, but I definitely did want to um, check a look at those because they may have things in there that we could use. Um, let's take a look. We can we go in here? This is the other side of the door, right? Yeah. Okay. All right. Uh, this was the front of the house. Let's go this way. Hey, we got some of that stuff. Oh, why can't I move? There we go. Alright, another one of those. There's this purple guy who's got a quest on his head. I'll talk to this guy. Deary, deary me, what am I going to do? Oh, if it isn't young coffee, you came along just at the right time. I've got a favor to ask, you see? The other day I was playing with my lad, you know, messing around, as you do. Well, anyway, he's got this flurry feather that he loves, and well, fool that I am, I managed to let it blow away. Luckily, the wind only blew it as far as the roof of your shed. I'd go get it myself, but I'm not too good with heights. Anyway, I know you were a brave young fellow, so I was wondering if you'd, all, if you'd mind clambering up there and getting it back for me. You'd be doing me a huge favor, I'm telling you. So you've been, you've been asked to undertake a quest, would you acquiesce? 
this, to this request? What a weird word. Accept? <laughs> the man wants you to retrieve his, his son's flurry feather from the roof of your shed. I knew you'd help me out. You always paid attention to what the priest said in church. You know, that stuff about always being kind to others. You're a fine fellow, and make and no mistake. Now, there's no time to lose. My son's desperate to get his beloved feather back. Hurry on over to your shed. I'm sure you've climbed onto your fair share. Oh yeah, we already did this. Once you found that flurry feather, once you found that flurry feather, bring it back here, and I'll see if I can give you a little something in return. Best of luck. All right, we've accepted the people's friend quest. I think we already did this though. Let's just see if we already have one. There you are, coffee. Yeah, and it looks like you've got the feather. Would you mind letting me have it? Coffee hands over the flurry feather. Thanks. I knew you wouldn't let me down. I can't wait to see the look on my boy's face. Oh, and before I forget, here's a little something in return. Hey, we got a sleeping hibiscus. And that's not all. I've got a tip for you I hope you'll find useful. If you ever want to do someone a good turn, <clears throat> look for a purple speech bubble above their head. Listen to what they have to say and see if you can do anything to help. It always pays to be kind to others. But don't feel that just because someone shared their woes with you, you have to help them right away. You can always come back when you want a little change of pace or if you're not sure what to do next. Anyway, thanks again, Coffee. I really owe you one. Now, just remember, whatever's waiting for you up ahead, be kind to others and you'll do just fine. Look at that. Um... If you had a good time on your little errand, you can continue helping people by speaking to anyone you meet on your adventure with a purple. Yeah, he just gives us all of that stuff. When I let my boy's flurry feather get blown away, I thought he was going to disown me. You really helped me out of a tight spot, Coffee. You'll always be able to tell when someone needs a helping hand. Okay, so this is just more of a tutorial about how quests work. Alright, so what is this? Whoa, I always hit the wrong button there. We got Sleeping Hibiscus. This will let us put an enemy to sleep. Well, that was pretty cool. Alright, what do we do next? Let's go to the back of this house. Let's just kind of explore a little bit more. Nothing on his roof. I don't think there's anything back here. Oh! There is. Maybe not. Haha, <laughs> there was. Alright, let's go down the stairs. Let's go see. Hmm, what's over here? This looks like a shop. Let's take a look. Yeah, it is a shop. So, you're leaving good old cobblestone, are you? Well, make sure you've got all the essentials before you set off. Alright, let's see what we have. Uh, cypress stick. I don't think I need that. I already have one of these. Whoa, bandana. That's looking pretty cool. Oh, okay. Some upgraded clothes. This is not going to do much of anything for us. Why would I want to buy this? I think we're good with the bandana we have, so we'll just take this one. 70 gold, sure. Do I get to sell any of this? Oh, I didn't want it in my bag. I didn't realize it was telling me where I want to put it. Let's put it on. There we go. Now we don't get to keep our our uh, our appearance. All right, hold on. So we don't get to keep our appearance. That's okay. Uh, that's it for now. Let's. I don't think there's anything else in here. Nah. Let's um just kind of explore a little bit. There's some barrels. Anything in here? Yeah, we got two gold. All right. So far, exploring has turned into a benefit of, of some sort every time we've done it. Let's go. I don't know where to go. Ah, 
<laughs> Let's go down this way. Be sure to do some shopping before you go. I recommend stomping up on herbs. If you get hurt too much from fighting, you can use them to heal. Yeah, we're good, buddy. This is where we started. We didn't go down this cave. I really wanted to check this cave out when I first... Oh, wait. No, this is where we came. I'm so confused. No, no, no. This is not. This is a different cave. Yeah, we came out and started the game, and we met that guy that told us to go to our house. I thought I saw this cave behind him, and I thought, you know what? Let's go check it out. Alright, nice big old ladder. I wonder if there's any enemies up here. Oh, we got some smashables. Seven gold. Copper ore and a, a seed of agility. Hold up. Ah, I hit the wrong button every time. Oh, okay. Let's us increase our stat. Okay, let's continue on. Uh, can I jump down from here? I can. I was not expecting that. I was expecting like an invisible wall. That's cool. Alright, now where? Let's go, um... I don't know, we can check out this little girl. Poor Gemma, she's just... She just can't stop crying. But she said she'd put on a brave face to say goodbye to you. Whoops, I wasn't meant to tell you that. <laughs> Can I ride you? Oh no, I just pet your backside. <laughs> That's cool. Oh, just look at you. Those are old chalky clothes, aren't they? Dear. Gosh, you just look like he did at your age. He wore the very same outfit when he went off to explore the world, and now here you are, following in his footsteps. Oh. I did not notice that. I thought it was just clothes. <laughs> Hello. Alright, maybe we're doing too much exploring. Although we are getting paid. <laughs> Let's see what this is. Music hall? No, this can't be a music. Oh, it's no. I thought that was going to tell me. It's a church. Let's talk to this guy. What's up, buddy? So you are setting out into the world, my child. Perhaps a little prayer before you depart. Oh, this is how you save. Okay. Learn how much. Okay, let's just save. We are going to use... That was the starting of us all. <coughs> yes. I have successfully recorded. Do you intend to continue? Yes, I do. Thank you. Hey, we have any red books on this bookshelf? What's in here? Nothing. Oh. Another ant antidotal herb. What's over here? Nothing. <laughs> wow, that's a really loud door. <laughs> What's up here? Oh, hey, Sandy. Woof, woof. What's the matter, girl? Is someone there? Uh, I'm sorry, I don't want to speak to anyone right now. Could you come back in a bit? Oh. Alright. How interesting. Um, let's just kind of explore around here. Oh, I can get. I think I can get on a roof. Yeah. Oh. Maybe not based off of the way that I'm jumping. We have some sparkly spots for another medicinal herb. Yeah. 
Oh, maybe I don't want to go that far. Oh, it was a treasure. Uh, this is the front of the treasure. We got a cypress stick. All right. Oh, there's some barrels over there. We can take a look at these two. Nice. All right, let's go to the house over here. Every one of these houses has given us something, something nice. Do you have anything for us? Oh uh, man, we might have. Oh wait. Oh no, that wasn't. Ah, these are the things I'm looking for. Yeah, what's in here? Six gold, all right. Is there anything over here? No. Can I get around you? No. That's annoying. Why would I do that? <laughs> uh, I think I already talked to that guy. Oh, hey, look, there's that sparkly spot over there. Can I get over there? I forgot where I was for a minute there. I'm like, wait, this, ha this all looks familiar. Um, it was our house. <laughs> All right, I think we're good here. Let's move forward. Get up there. So we're gonna go up here and say goodbye to people. Although I really wanna to talk to this big burly man. There is some advice from one bloke to another. Keep your mind on the job. No matter our face, our fierce the fighting gets, you gotta stay focused. The more you get walloped, the more focused you'll get, and before you know it, you'll be all pepped up. Then you'll really be full of beans. When you're pepped up, you'll be stronger, faster, better at everything. There ain't another feeling like it. Go on, my son, get out of there. Go out there and pep yourself silly. Um, okay. Oh, it's that boy we saved. I heard you're going all the way to, to Heliodor. Can I come with you? Please, please. Fine, I suppose I'm a bit young still. Well, be careful, it's a long journey. My dad says you have to head north and just keep going. And he says it's full of all kinds of people, way more than you see in cobblestone. Ah, I can't wait to grow up and see it for myself. <laughs> Alright, let's go talk to Mama. Nothing special over there. Nah. So this is it, my little soldier's really leaving. You might not be back for a while. Hope you said all your goodbyes. So, ready? Oh man, I guess so. I mean, I couldn't really talk to, to Gemma. Yeah, let's just keep going. Well, off you go then. One day you're just a little boy. The next you're getting ready to leave us. I only wish your grandfather could see what a fine young man you've become. <laughs> to think, it's been so many years already since old Chalky found you floating in the... <laughs> 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 I mean, since he brought you to Cobblestone. We never thought there was anything out of the ordinary about you. And now suddenly there's all this talk of luminaries of all things. You know who the Luminary was, of course. The legendary hero who saved the world from a terrible darkness. And we're supposed to believe that you're him reincarnated? Ha! <laughs> I don't doubt old Chalky, of course, but it is a little hard to swallow, I must say. Oh, when you meet the King of Heliodor, put in a good word for old Cobblestone, won't you, eh? <laughs> 
if he finds out this is the village where the luminary was raised, there might be something in it for us, <laughs> if you catch my drift. Oh, you are terrible. Trust you to be thinking about what you can get out of it. <laughs> no, no, I'm only joking, of course. The very thought. <laughs> anyway, where was I? Ah, yes. No. The fate that awaits you may well be one beyond anything we simple country folk can imagine. But you must allow us to offer what little assistance we can. Take this map of Erdria with you. May it prove useful in finding your way. Thanks, Mayor. All right, we got a map. The map of Erdria. Oh, we got a horse? And may this magnificent steed, the pride of Cobblestone, lighten your burden and speed you on your way. Oh, do I get to name it? You'll find Heliodor easily enough. Just head north out of the village and follow your nose. Okay. You travel safely now. Oh, you're such a good boy, such a good boy. You make us proud out there, won't you? And come back safe. Wait! Ah, oh, there's Gemma. Yeah. <sighs> Here, take this with you. I... I made it for you. Ah, oh, we got Gemma's charm. It'll keep you safe. I heard there are lots of monsters where you're going. Be sure to keep it close, won't you? Oh, I don't know what's in store for you out there. But wherever you go and whoever you meet, don't... Don't forget us, will you? Take care, and remember, we'll be waiting for you. I want to take Sandy with me. Is that so wrong? <laughs> She's the MVP of that last few battles. Hey, we have a horse. And we are now in Heliodor, or at least the region going towards it. We're gonna stop here. I've been playing for about half an hour. Um, we're gonna get into a bunch of battles, it seems like. And I can definitely see this going to a uh, much longer video. So we'll stop it here. We wrapped up old cobblestone, and then we'll uh, we'll get going. So yeah, thanks for your time, y'all, and hope you enjoyed it. Talk to you soon. Bye.